All right, guys, so check it out. So a way to get to Las, the Playa de las Estrellas, the Starfish Beach, there's a cheaper way. You take this bus right here, Boca de Trago, Bocas, right at the main park. It's about an hour. It costs $2.50 a person, and it goes every single hour going there and also every single hour coming back. It's about a 45-minute bus ride. To get to it, you save the money instead of paying, I think it's like $30 to pay for a tour guide to take on a boat. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the bus. We're gonna spend time there. It's like a 20 minute walk once you get off the bus. 20 minute walk to the beach. Spend the day there and then come back to Bocas de Toro. All right, stay tuned. All right guys, we got to Bocas de Drago on the bus, dropped us off there. This is the beach for Bocas de Drago. But we're gonna walk about 20 minutes to the beach where it has all the starfish. But check out this, check this out. I haven't seen one of these in a long time old school phone booth this is where superman used to come in superman used to come in right here close the door and get ready to party go save the world save new york city or what city was he from i forget oh yeah look at that <laughs> that's hilarious man and i think it probably still works it still works see it still works it still works man that's crazy ha huh. I remember back in the day you always had to have change on you to make calls and then you had to add the change in to keep uh, the, the call going right eat your money that's hilarious all right here it is Boca de Drago there's the boats to take us I have no idea where Menia Nicole and coconut trees everywhere and on the on the island so beautiful Huh. all right guys we came from the bus over here we walked all the way down the beach and we're gonna be going this way we come this way and we have to go to the left to get to the star beach there are no signs that give the direction you just have to understand and know or speak spanish and ask the question <laughs> okay it's beautiful here wow All right, and then we continue walk along this very, very tiny beach until I have no idea to when, but it's about a 20 minute walk. So we continue to go until we see some stars, some starfish. Check it out guys, so a very small beach, but it's pretty. All right guys, we're at the point where we gotta cross this sketchy looking bridge and it's not very well done, but whatever. We do it to get to the destination. And over here, Look at the bridge all moving. Over here, it, it finishes. Luckily, it's only a one inch or four inches deep, so no no big deal. We'll get, we'll get by, we'll make it. Definitely bring repellent, because there's a lot of mosquitoes right now. Woo! Still walking. It's a little bit further than I expected. So definitely bring water, repellent. Yeah, there's no there's nowhere to buy water here. There's when we got off the bus, there's a place to buy water. So definitely buy water when you come this way. Or you can just take the boat. I'm not sure how much they charge to do for the boat ride. Quanto costó para la lancha, Ah, dollar dollar fifty. It would have been a dollar fifty to take the boat ride. I didn't know the price. I didn't know the price. But whatever, we're walking. Maybe we'll take the boat ride back. I think we finally made it. I think I see the boats. I see this sign. Let's check it out. Yeah, to be a quietus playas. Hmm. Yeah, playa estrella. We made it. Bienvenidos playa estrella. Welcome to Star Beach. So let's go find these stars. Hmm. All right. All right, guys, check it out. It's very important. Please do not touch the stars. And also, do not take them out of the water because they're living beings. So if you take them out of the water, they die. So don't do that. Don't be one of those people that want to take out the, the starfish from out of the water to get a picture for Instagram. That's really dumb. Just enjoy them from in their natural habitat and leave them be. All right, let's go. All right, guys, so we got here. We're in the 
starfish beach. I want to show you guys a really big one. This one, unfortunately, is dead. You guys can see it's black. Wait till you see the really big one. And the live one. Beautiful golden. But wait a second, what is this first? Hold on. Oh, I can't see because I'm moving the water. There's little mounds here. I'm not sure you can see them, but I wonder what lives underneath that. And the water is so clear. See that fish right there? Look at my hand. Look at my hand. So clear. There's fish that swim by. Nice big ones. I'm not sure. I think they're sea bass. But check out this one. Y'all see that star? Wow, so beautiful. Let's see if we see some fish swim by. Whoa. The water is cold. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can see any fish swim by. Hold on. Very beautiful. And I'm not seeing any fish yet. Right when I bring the camera out, the fish stopped swimming by. But there was a big old school of fish that swam by. Hmm. Oh well. So I guess I'll see you all in the next video or in the next moment. I have no idea. Stay tuned. That sailboat. Let me know. Who would want to live in this sailboat here and travel the world? I personally wouldn't want to do it. That's too small of a space for me to live in. Even though you have all this space <laughs> as your backyard. When we rode the, the boat, the La Lancha, the speed boat. Oh, there's the fish. Here we go. There they are. Y'all see them? So beautiful. I wish I had my snorkeling gear. When we rode uh, the speedboat, so much bouncing. It was horrible. So I'm not sure how it would be traveling the world on a sailboat. A lot of YouTubers do that. They, they, or a lot of people do it. But especially ones on YouTube make it seem like um, majestic and perfect in paradise. I want to see the other side of it, the bad side of uh, traveling the world on a sailboat. So I know there's a bad side. <laughs> Has to be. All right, guys. Stay tuned.